the animals, they are always there. People love animals in the Civil War. They're just endless stories of the little animals who went off to war with the regiment. My favorite animal story has to be little Sally, who was the regimental mascot of the 11th Pennsylvania. She followed the men everywhere. Uh, she marched with them. She was the first to get up in the morning, the last to sleep at night. And at the Battle of Gettysburg, they thought she was lost. But three days later, when medical teams went on the field, they found little Sally guarding the bodies of some men in the 11th Pennsylvania who had been killed. And then on February 1865, in fighting south of Petersburg, Virginia, little Sally was killed. And despite the hail of gunfire that was going back and forth, Pennsylvania soldiers dropped their muskets and they buried little Sally on the field. But again, that's not the end of the story. In 1890, the 11th Pennsylvania uh, dedicated a monument at Gettysburg. And it looks like all the other monuments at Gettysburg, tall marble obelisk, and atop it is the bronze likeness of a defiant soldier. But this one is different. Down near the bottom on a little ledge is a likeness of Sally. She looks asleep, but in reality, I suspect she's keeping watch over soldiers with whom she shared an undying love. And today, if you drive by that monument, you probably will find a dog biscuit or two right there with Sally. <laughs>